Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to showing you how to animate your data over time. This method is going to allow you to show certain data but allow you to add years to that data as time goes on. So for example, in our demo here, if I click play on this play access slicer, it's going to step through the years and show us the unemployment rate throughout time. So you can see that it's just adding a year of data each time it steps through that playback is slicer. So if I select GDP and run through that again, you can see how the GDP has grown over the last 20 years. So this is really cool because it allows you to kind of keep your data, your historical data there, but adding a new point for every year that it steps through. I'm going to show you how to set this up. It's super easy. So we're going to jump over to another file. So in this file, I don't have everything set up. This is basically how Power BI would by default treat the scenario. So if we click play on this file, you see it just steps through each point individually. So it's not showing you the current point, and prior, it's just showing you the current point in your data. So we are going to walk through the steps necessary to set up the kind of dynamic animated x-axis, and the first thing we're going to do is look at our data. So all this is coming from what's called master table. So it just has data for each state for each year. So I have certain metrics here like income, population, jobs, GDP, unemployment rate. In our slicer, we have the ability to dynamically select one of the five metrics. So sticking with unemployment rate. Really, the first step of what we need to do is create a disconnected table for our slicer. So I'm slicing on the year. The year is in the x-axis of my chart here. So I need to create a duplicate table of the distinct values and in order to do that I will go to modeling, new table. And I will call this selected year and that's just going to be the distinct of my year column in my master table. And once we do that, we can open up that selected year table and you see if we sort it by ascending, we just have the distinct years present in my data. And just so you know some of these metrics, I have data all the way back. So for GDP, I am limiting this x-axis from 2000 to 2020. But for GDP, I have data all the way back to 1963. For population, I have data all the way back to 1930. But unemployment rate, I only have data back to 2000. So I'm going to limit my entire x-axis to 2000 just for the sake of this video. So that's why I have years all the way back to 1929. Next, I'm going to switch out, or actually I should tell you, the play access slicer is a custom visual, so in order to import it, you'll need to click on the three ellipses here in the visualizations pane and go to import from marketplace. And simply search for play axis and it'll come up with this play axis dynamic slicer. Go ahead and add that to your Power BI file and throw it on the canvas. So right now this year is coming from my master data. But we don't want that. We want to use the new table we just created. So this disconnected table, and I say disconnected because there aren't any relationships between our master table and our selected year table that we just created. So we are going to throw in the year field from the selected year. So now my play axis slicer has the selected year, so this should not do anything as it steps through. It won't do anything because it doesn't have a relationship set up between those tables. Next, we need to create one measure and we're going to call this max year and now you can use a switch statement or an if statement. I'll use an if real quick. So if the max of our master year is less than or equal to the max of our selected year. We can return one, else we'll return a zero. So I'm going to throw this into the tool tips and we can see what this actually does. So our max year can go in the tool tips and now we can kind of test this out. So if we click on the play button, you see our data is starting from 1929. Since that's the earliest of our data, we're going to go ahead and slice this down a little bit. So while highlighting the play access slicer, let's slice down the year. I just want to show years greater than or equal to 2000 for this demo. So now when we click play, starts at 2000 and as you see max year is zero for all years. That's a little bit difficult to see, but I will pause it when it gets to let's say 2005, 2006. 
So every year that is less than 2006 gets a max year of 1, but 2007 and onward gets a max year of 0. Because in our measure, we are checking the max of master year, which is basically just the year that it's on in the visual. So, right now the max of master year is 2005 and the max of selected year is always going to be what is shown in this slicer. So max of selected year is 2006 in this case. But if we're hovering over 2003 in the visual, that is max of master year. So it's checking the visual versus the slicer year. So the last step, all we actually need to do is go to our line chart and filter the max year for where it is 1 or oppositely where it is not 0 so we can apply that filter. And go ahead and click play. So now starting at 2010, you see we now have the nice functionality that adds years to this data. We'll step through the entire thing real quick and now you see that it's working. And you see that the y-axis is also changing dynamically. You might also want to set this to a set y-axis. We see that our unemployment already gets up to about 9%, so we can set that to let's say 10. So it's always going to be set there. So it will not change over time. So if we click play again, we'll see it just grows. So really cool functionality here. Not too hard to set up, you can add a lot of flair to your project if you add something that's animated like this and shows a dynamic metric over time, but it allows you to show the historical data as well as the current data point. If you found this video helpful, a quick subscribe would mean a lot to us. Thanks for watching.